Hello and welcome to the Art Box. More ideas to help you with your picture making and with us, of course, the Art Box Bunch. Hello. Hmm. Looks to me as though Bunch is making a wall. <laughs> yes, you're quite right, Rex. Of course he is. The bricks are all supposed to go one on top of each other. Well, now, let's have a look at our panel, see what we've been doing. Dear little juggler, up we go. Must put something on that water at some time. Here's the very colourful balloon up in the sky, and down here, the wall. It'd be rather fun to put something on that wall, but before we do that, I'll show you how to make the wall. Not quite like bungees. To make the wall, we need a strip of paper. Cartridge paper is best, like this. It's a little thicker for the job we're going to do. Then we want a wax crayon. These are the cheapest that I could get, and they work absolutely splendidly. Then we want a ruler that is just a strip of card so that you don't uh, put wax all over one of your nice rulers. And then it's a matter of ruling lines. Can you see little marks I've made here, just so that I know where the lines of bricks are that I want? We should, I think, get a line of five bricks here. One more down here. And then we come to the rather trickier bit. Those are all the horizontal lines. Now we've got to do the vertical lines that show the bricks. One, miss one, another, and another. Right, here we go. Alternating is the word. That's it. Now we go halfway along, because you always get a half brick at the end, and that goes there, and another one there. There and there. And we're coming to the last one there. OK, I have a feeling that I want to put something on this wall. So here is a white wax crayon. And I shall draw something and you won't be able to see it because it's white on white. I should give a prize if you can tell what I've actually done. There we are. Now, I bet you know what I'm going to do now. Yes. Water-based ink or watercolour. This is a lovely terracotta colour that's made of red and yellow ochre. And it's going to hopefully show us a nice wall. There we are. There's the white wax little cat's head come up underneath. Really, it's quite simple, isn't it? Not bad. I'm going to peel that off. Up you come. There we are. Because I want to tell you about this paper that I've got underneath. It's um, the cheapest paper you can possibly get. It's called lining paper, and you can get it from a do-it-yourself shop. And it cost me £3.99 for 30 metres, and I can tell you, cut up, that will last you for a very, very long time. And I thought it might be an idea to use our white crayon again, because I want to see what happens if we do a resist drawing on, on, on this paper. Resist is, of course, what we've been doing up to now. It throws off watercolour or ink, and that's what you've been seeing happen. Now, let's finish this. I think a few lines down there and up the top here. If I look right down like this, I can see it shining. So I know roughly what I'm doing here. Can you tell? Perhaps you can't see any shine like I can down here. Now. We'll have another colour. 
got some over here. Blue. It'll be very interesting to see if it does throw off on this paper. Yes. It takes a little longer, doesn't it? And the longer we wait, the better the resist. But it's showing through pretty well there now, anyway. Well, I've finished. How are you lot doing? <laughs> oh dear. Well, now we want someone or something to sit on this wall. And I think there's only one thing we can put on the wall. This cat is perfect. Look, even his tail is in the right position. Come on. Well, I'm sorry, Bungie. Ah, oh, but really, you know, it was you who started it. Well, why, why don't you seek some help from Tacky? Well, now it's quiet. Perhaps we can get on with our cat. First thing we need, some A4 paper. Any sort of paper will do. We need a soft pencil and one of those small fine markers, but it must be a permanent marker. And a rubber. Right. Going to do a basic drawing of simple shapes and then we'll use the pen. Pencil first. Nice oval shape and another oval shape, in other words, figure eight. Draw a line down there, another down there. Two triangles and two half circles there. We can see our little cat taking form and a straight line that goes like that. Pen now. And any mistakes that we've made in the pencil we can correct in our drawing with the pen. Top of his head along that oval line, one ear, here we come round, that's it. A leg is coming right down there. See, I've corrected a line there. And I'll do so on this side so that the two little half circles become his four paws. Two paws, really, of course. And there he's sitting nicely. Now we can see his two legs. We'll put a nose about there. Black it in. A smiling cat mouth. Those little dots that all those whiskers grow from. And a tongue there. That can be pink later on. That would be very nice. And Two smiley eyes. You see, there, it's sort of just two little curves like that, and he's smiling. The tail. It's going along the wall, of course, and goes down like that. And now we want to rub out all those pencil marks. And those permanent marker pens dry almost instantaneously. So you can go straight off with rubbing out the pencil lines. Now, colouring, well, only one colour going in there. The rest is going to be black. But there are blacks and black. I've got black ink here. I'm going to put water on my brush and take some black ink and make what will be undoubtedly a pretty, a pretty heavy grey and I keep it pretty wet at the same time. I'm going over everything. 
everything except that tongue. Even the pause. And the tail. Now what I'm going to do is to take away some of that very dark grey, or black almost, and we do it with water and kitchen paper. I'm going to put a big drop of water up there over one eye, and another on that eye, and with kitchen paper, very carefully, we'll see it come through, there we are. Blot that off. You see? And I think perhaps on his chest, because even black cats ha sometimes have uh, much lighter coloured chests. Two paws and the chest. And that's worked pretty well. So if now we give him a pink tongue, he'd be all ready for cutting out, which would make him look uh, much better. And then we could go and put him on the wall. Guess what those two are plotting. <laughs> ah, now Tacky's covered the top with glue. Well, let's put the cat on the wall. There he goes. You see, I've got a yellow circle, which could be the moon or the sun. And there he is, very nicely sitting on his wall. So, that's all the time we have for now. So, from me and the bunch... Oh, dear. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. Oh.